Hey everybody, so hopefully y'all had a great start moving into 2024 and everybody had a happy and safe holiday season. Um, I haven't been in the garage too much uh, between the weather up here with emergency service calls for the construction business and uh, well to be completely honest with you, as cold as it's been in here, no insulation or anything, I haven't wanted to come out here and do anything and I know that's a terrible excuse so moving forward, here we are. Um, this video is actually going to be a little bit different and the reason is is because the team over at Creality had reached out to me prior to Christmas and asked me if I'd be willing to do a review on the new Falcon 2 22 watt laser. I thought about it and chewed it over for a little while and I don't know anything about lasers. I've never touched one. I've never seen one. Um, I've seen guys running CO2s before in, in bigger shops and you know, as far as a diode laser, I don't know anything about it. I had to look on YouTube and read manuals, and there's there's a couple guys out there on YouTube that really know what they're talking about. So after I studied it for a little while, and I, I thought, you know, maybe this is something that could really help change what I'm able to do in here, maybe help me meet that goal that I had made for New Year's, I reached back out to him and I told him that I'd be willing to, to look at it and, you know, give an honest review about it. Uh, with that being said, we're going to be learning this together. Um, I've never touched one. I've never ran one. The software that's recommended is uh, Laser GRBL. I'm not sure if it's Laser GRBL or if it's Laser Gerbil and Lightburn. Um, the two guys that I really pay attention to and we're kind of studying from, you know, they were both using Lightburn. Uh, Lightburn's compatible with the Falcon 2. Um, so that's, that's what I'm going to be using. Without talking about all that too much and getting sidetracked, let's just jump into the box and see what we got. Um, before, I, before I get started in here, um, they did send me an additional box which came with the rotary tool, a uh, honeycomb, and a protective cover. Those are all additional accessories, so we'll get to that here in a minute. But first, we'll just get right into this one and see, see what it comes with. So right out of the box, you got some stickers and Creality Falcon 2 Operation Guide, quick start. I can tell by looking at it, everything was packaged up really nice. So that's, that's a huge plus. Now, from the way I understand it, uh, one of the cool things about this is that it's 99% assembled for you out of the box. Uh, the laser module is going to go on top. We're going to put the feet on it. We're going to plug in the air assist. And then after that, you know, I believe it's just set it up into the software and start your first project. So I'll probably go ahead and speed through the setup and then I'll either walk you through it when I'm all done or we'll figure it out as we go.
there that's it that's actually pretty quick and simple uh let me try to pull this back some tried to assemble it so that you guys could see uh, a couple really cool things about this at least from the way that i read the material and understand it for myself this actually comes with the air assist module and um that's that's a big deal because a lot of other companies or manufacturers don't include this with the machine. Um, I don't know which one specifically, but I do know that these are typically an additional accessory that you have to purchase separately. Um, everything went on really well, quick and simple. I mean, I didn't speed any of that up. I, I don't know how long it took, maybe five minutes. Um, it's got some pretty cool features. It's got an emergency safety stop here. Uh, it's got a key, so maybe if you have little ones running around the house or maybe they have access to the garage, you can lock it. Um, that way nobody has access to it while you're not around to watch them. Or, you know, I don't have little ones that are going to come into my garage, but I have teenagers that are very curious about cool things. So, you know, a key might not be a bad idea. Um, let's see, what else? Let's just go through the box and... We'll, we'll go through everything else. Now I know that it, it did come with this aluminum sheet. I can get it open here. It's got a protective film cover on it. So when you get ready to burn, um, this will go down underneath your honeycomb and your honeycomb will sit on top of that. Um, I'm not sure if I actually said this or not, but one of the downsides to this, and it's something that you really do need, is a honeycomb and the honeycomb is not included. I'm not sure if it's specifically with this one because I do know that there's a couple different um, Falcon 22 watt lasers that you can buy some what I believe is this one by itself, like a standalone unit that doesn't include all the, ex all the additional accessories. I do know that there's um, other options on the Creality website that you can get the bundle and the bundle will come with them, but this specific model did not. Um, aside from that, it's got some pretty cool safety features. Uh, out front here, it'll tell you once it's plugged in. Um, if there's an issue with the air assist, uh, it'll flash at you. It'll it'll detect a fire. So maybe if you're cutting through something and the speed setting is running too slow and it's you know not cutting the way it should and it ignites a fire, that'll let you know. It has a a lens warning as well. So when your lens gets dirty, it'll also tell you you know that you need to fix that. Uh, one of the cool things is that I noticed inside the box of hardware here is that it does come with an extra lens and the lens cleaning is super easy. You can actually just pull it off right here and you can take, take it apart and swap the lens out. So, you know, something like that. I don't know if that's typical on other machines, but, you know, to me, that's, that's really cool. So, yeah, aside from that, it's got a couple other easy, easy features to it. But, you know, aside from basic setup and as quick as it was to get it going, I'll get this all plugged in. I'll take it over to the makeshift table that I made. And we'll plug it in the light burn and we'll see what we can do with it. Um, one of the cool things about this and the primary reasons that I said I, I would be willing to take a look at it is because there's this style of lamp. It's a Scandinavian Picone lamp, and I really like those. I'm not sure you know, how many of you know that I'm all over on Pinterest, but I do a lot of drawing and you know, image editing on my iPad. That's kind of something I, I do in my downtime and I like it. So over on Pinterest, you know, I, I do have pins that I've made that have the European uh, Scandinavian Picone lights on them, and I really like those. I've seen guys make them and 
you know, to me, that was a selling point because I feel like if I can figure out the software and I can figure out the math behind making my own, I think that this will really help bring in, you know, some decent revenue outside of what I could do by hand. So anyway, without talking about it too much more, I'll go and move it over and we'll plug it in and we'll see what happens. All right, so I got the laptop set up on the table as well as the laser. There's one other thing that I forgot. I'm gonna need the honeycomb. And in order to get to the honeycomb, I'm gonna to have to open up the box that Creality was kind enough to send to me that has the additional accessories in it. So once I open up that, we'll kind of go through everything really fast, grab the honeycomb out of there, go over to the laser, get everything connected, and we'll try to make something. So let's get into the box. Inside the box, we have the laser engraver enclosure. We'll go through this in another video. We also have the rotary tool, which allows you to engrave things, uh, cylindrical objects, tumblers, cups, glasses, things like that. Once I get into it and I have a better understanding as to what exactly we can and cannot do with it, we'll make a video on that as well. But for now, this is what we're really after. Honeycomb. Oh, look at that, that's really cool. So the, me the measurements of the machine, I believe are 400 millimeter by 415 millimeter. Um, don't quote me on that, I'll throw up um, the specific dimensions later on. I'll have them floating around on the screen somewhere. They're either 400 by 415 or they're 400 it's 400 by 410 millimeter, but I do believe that it's 400 millimeters by 415 millimeters. And it's really cool. I hadn't opened this yet. I didn't realize that they had sent me a base plate and a honeycomb to fit the dimensions of that. So, you know, I'd like to tell you guys, thank you over at Creality for doing that. That's really cool. Um, so I'll get that taken down and we'll go over there. We'll plug in Lightburn, get the machine connected, and we'll see if we can't do something pretty cool. All right, so we're all set up here at the computer. Uh, we're gonna go through the first couple steps and just get everything activated. I've already got light burn downloaded on the computer. So now what we'll do is, is we'll take out the PF card that they included, plug that in to the computer. open up the files and actually what I should do is make a new folder there we go copy all these move them into the file we'll give that a second to transfer over and copy all the, the files and the assets. And then once that's done, we'll get it connected into Lightburn and uh, hook up the machine. So they did send with it uh, USB to Type-C. 
I'll plug that right into the uh, Falcon here and then directly into the computer once the files have transferred and connect the machine to Lightburn. Now, once you got that done, you'll take the Type C to USB and plug that in. One in the machine, the USB over to the laptop. Also, if you're on a Mac, I don't believe that it'll work with the Mac here on the Type C. I'm not sure, but I, I do know that they gave you supplied as an adapter. So I believe that you have to use that with a Mac. But because I'm on Windows, Type C to USB is fine. Once we do that, we can go into Lightburn, open that up. Devices, we can go to Import, Desktop, Creality Assets, go to Software. We're going to use Lightburn, so we'll open the Lightburn folder. Select your language, English. Click the file, open. Reality Falcon 2 is in your device list. Now we're going to connect it. So all you have to do is click OK. And then it will fire up the machine, letting you know that it's connected. So the next thing that we can do is um, import a file. So we can go to File, and we can go to Import, Desktop, Go to whatever file folder that you saved everything into. Click Sample Files. Because we're on the 22 watt laser, we'll click the 22 watt laser. But also if you happen to pick up a 12 watt or a 40 watt, they also include files for that. Uh, they give you two files, a cut file and an engraved and cut file. We'll go to the cut file. Open this up. And there's the Eagle file that Creality sends with you as a test. So we can select this, I believe, select it and move it. And we can come over here to frame. Get a general idea where it is. And essentially for this step, as far as connecting the Falcon to the computer, that's, that's really all it is. It's super simple, real quick and easy. I'm gonna move the camera over so that I can show you how to adjust the laser module itself to the test piece. And then once we do that, all I'm gonna do is frame it a couple times, make sure that it's in the, in the right area, and then we'll just hit start and cut it out and see what happens. All right, so once that's done, then we can come over here to the laser module unit and we can take the multi-level fixed focus block that they supplied you with and we can adjust it to the materials. So the way that it works is, is the materials go down first and then you'll take your block and it actually shows um, based, based on the thickness of the material and what you're doing. So in our case, a one to three millimeter basswood, I believe this is two millimeter. So we'll set this focus block down on top of our material and adjust the laser module to the top of this block. It's really simple to do too. It's all based on the adjustment screws. So we can just loosen the adjustment screws, set the base of the laser module right down on top of that, pull it out, and then we're good. Once you get it adjusted, tighten your thumb screws back down. 
pull your block out, and that's it. So, I'll come back over here, and we can frame it. Get an idea of where it's gonna be. One more time. Once it looks good, they also supplied you with these safety goggles. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use them because these are all that I have access to at the moment. I really don't know if, you know, they're qualified to be looking at the laser. So I'm gonna put them on just to be on the safe side. But I would recommend looking into something that's going to be more protective for your eyes later on. If you're going to do a lot of projects with this, it's always better to be safe and use the right protective equipment when you're doing things like this. So I'll put these on. Ready to go. And then the settings that they have up here are based on the file. So in our case right now, the file set to a speed of 700 millimeters per minute and a power of 100. So it's at 100% power. We're gonna slide it over and make sure that our air is on, which it is, and then start the project and see what happens. Here we go.
Now that that's all done, let's see what we got. I know the project is there, but I'm actually just looking at the clean lines on that. Look, that's the outline. And here's the project itself. Really fine detailed lines, that looks nice. Let me put it behind this. So that's pretty cool. Um, As far as cutting anything else, I think I think for today we're gonna leave it at that. But um, I'm definitely gonna keep messing around with this. There's a couple really really good YouTubers who are very very knowledgeable about what they do. Um, once I get all this put away, we'll go back over to the table saw, kind of run through everything, and then uh, I'll definitely get back to you and let you know what I think about it. All right, so first things first, I'd like to let everybody know right out of the gate, um, this is not a sponsored video from Creality. Creality is not paying me any type of financial compensation to make this. Um, like I stated earlier, prior to Christmas, a very pleasant person reached out to me from Creality and they asked me if I would be willing to review the, the laser and look it over, not knowing anything about lasers and digging into what they can potentially do, you know, I was happy and uh, very grateful to Creality and the person who reached out to me to review the product. Um, with that being said, you guys watched me do it firsthand, right over the shoulder, I ran one test file. Um, that's way too soon to tell you, hey, this can do this and this can't do that. I, I really don't know, but there are two guys on YouTube that I know really know lasers and they know exactly what they're talking about as well as what this machine can and cannot do uh, the first one is david over at the clack shack and the second guy is rich from the louisiana hobby guy i'll leave links to their channels down below in the description if you have any questions or you know you really want to know what this machine can or cannot do those are the guys that i would go over and look at their videos you know they they have years of experience far more than my 10 or 15 minutes and light burn and turning some feet on the machine and plugging in a laser. So go there if you want knowledgeable information. With all that being said, the easy use for this thing to me kind of blew my mind. Uh, it takes a lot to really surprise me and make me excited about anything, but right out of the box, 99% assembled, uh, what we do, we plugged in a laser module, we screwed some feet on, we hooked up the air assist, real simple stuff. Uh, even connecting it into the software, downloading the software, straightforward, ready to go. The files they give you, the test files, all prepared nicely, ready to go. The parameters are plugged in. Um, you know, the safety features on this thing are to me, hands down, very cool. The emergency stop you have on there, the key lock you have on there, the triple monitoring system. Um, it's got tilt sensors and an alarm on it, apparently that'll go off if it tilts or, you know, you have the homing feature, you can change the directions from up here. Tons, tons of potential in this. And for the scale of work that I plan on doing, I feel like I could do a lot of it with this. Like I mentioned earlier, those Scandinavian pine cone lights, I know for a fact I can do those with this machine because I've seen guys on YouTube do it. Um, let's see what else. Uh, me and my wife and I work huge Chevy people, you know, four wheel drive Chevy, lifted and loud exhaust. That's, that's us. So, you know, I'm gonna build some black walnut end tables and I got a pile of maple and yellow birch back there that I could do some glue ups on that, rip them down into quarter inch pieces and do some custom Chevy logo inlays on it. I mean, the sky's the limit for something like this to me and I'm excited to have it. Um, not to mention you have the additional accessories like the rotary kit, 
Um, you can swap the head out. Let's say later on in life, you find that the 20, 22 watt laser module is just not enough for you. You can go and put a 40 watt on there and you don't have to buy the machine or do anything again. So, you know, there's a lot for me to learn about this. And as I learn it, I'll, you know, give the information back to you the best that I can, but I can guarantee you'll be seeing a lot more of this because I'm really interested to see what I can do with it. Um, with that being said, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. I know it's definitely something new for me on my channel. Uh, a far, a far reach from Christmas trees, isn't it? Um, but as the year continues and I'm trying to shoot towards that New Year's goal that I have, you know, I, I don't take that lightly. I put that out there to you guys and I, I put it out there because I, I want to make sure that I can make it happen. So with that being said, you'll be seeing more of this and uh, different projects coming soon. So, you know, thanks for watching.